Before and After is an epic weight loss tale set during a zombie apocalypse. Yes, you heard that right. The novel begins with the wall of an upper story apartment having been knocked out so that a crane can lift a morbidly obese man out of it and lower him to an ambulance so that he can be taken away to get a life-saving emergency surgery. This has to be done because he can no longer fit through the door of his apartment. But the whole operation is interrupted by a zombie apocalypse. And the stage is set. This is such a strange and unexpected story. I only discovered this novel at all because I was looking for the best of the best science fiction novels, and this one won at least one of those awards. I don't normally read horror, I don't normally seek out zombie apocalypse stories, and I am certainly deeply unqualified to talk about weight loss. But this story took me on a journey, and at the end I even cried. And not because it was tragic, but because it was so moving, in a positive way, which in my opinion is a much more difficult feat to achieve. Before and After is quite possibly the best independently published science fiction that I have ever read, and it is certainly the best that was not later traditionally published, such as Wool or The Martian. And speaking of The Martian, Before and After is kind of what you might get if you told Chuck Palahniuk, the author of Fight Club, to write The Martian, but about a morbidly obese man. There's a surprising amount of engineering and clever problem solving in Before and After. And in many respects, I like Shanahan's writing better than Chuck Palahniuk's. I did not find that Shanahan was being gratuitous in an attempt to shock or impress the reader, as I think Chuck Palahniuk sometimes does. There are parts of Before and After that were very hard for me to read because they are grotesque, because there is body horror in it. Although, I don't know what I expected, I mean, there's a zombie apocalypse and also it's about a morbidly obese guy. There's going to be some bodily stuff happening. I personally thought the author used it well, presented it well, and earned it. But it's worth noting that not everyone agrees with that point of view. One Goodreads reviewer wrote, I think because the main character is sympathetic, a lot of people are snookered into thinking this is fat positive representation, but it is not. Fatness is presented as body horror. The fat phobia the MC endures is unexamined in any way, and inhumane starvation and deprivation that would kill an actual human person is presented as a positive journey of redemption because the person in question is fat. Ah, I don't know. The book didn't come off as mean or fat phobic to me, but I genetically have a body fat percentage that is scraping the bare minimum of what is considered healthy. What I'm trying to say here is that I have never personally had to experience the cruel treatment that people who are fat have to endure in our society. I found the protagonist to be sympathetic and likable, both before and after their weight loss journey. Pun intended. My main criticism of this book is that it's advertised as a thriller, but with the exception of a few tense moments, it's actually quite reflective and slow-paced, jumping back and forth in time to events before the zombie apocalypse, which are some of the most touching and moving scenes in the story. If you're looking for a fresh take on the zombie apocalypse, a unique story with a fully realized protagonist that will pull your heartstrings, this is worth checking out. I can't imagine you've ever read anything else like it before. Now, I am going to give a spoiler, and that's all there is for the rest of the video, it's just a little spoiler. So, if I've convinced you to read this book, and I hope I have, and you don't want any spoilers at all, then you can stop here. But, if you're the kind of person that has ever stopped reading a book because it made you too anxious, and you think you'd enjoy it more if maybe all that anxiety was toned down just a hair, then you might want to listen to this spoiler. Okay, so spoiler is coming in three, two, one. The spoiler involves the dog. The dog lives. The dog lives. And I cried anyway, and not just because the dog lives. There's a really beautiful moment at the end of the book that I thought made the journey more than worthwhile, and the journey itself is, is just such a different one, such an interesting one. I recommend you check out Before and After by Andrew Shanahan.